Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 2 I don't know what I was gonna do that, that's 4, not 2 Today is a little get ready with me, ready for Thanksgiving dinner Yeah, we're just gonna chit chat, I have a reference photo of sort of what I wanna do with my eye look Although I'm not very good with eye look, so we'll see how that goes And for the first time ever, I'm wearing lashes I don't wear lashes, I've never worn lashes before, I've never attempted to put on lashes So this is going to be a first time for me and you You are going to see me put these on Will it focus? I am terrified. I'm terrified. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna start with my base and everything, and I'm kind of multitasking because I'm also doing the, what is this called? Like the feast day, I guess it's called an Animal Crossing, as you can see. Look at that. Look at my little person. Oh, it's so cute. Maybe one day I'll do a little tour of my island, but it's not done at all. So it would be like a, welcome to my three-star island. <laughs> I took a break from Animal Crossing for a little while. But then with the new update, I was like, I I have to come back. Anyway, I'm going to try to go for something like that or something like that. I'm really scared when it comes to bold colors, but we're going to try. Is this too much? It's probably too much. Let's talk about how I'm hoping this vlogmas is like actually a good vlogmas. <laughs> I'm hopeful. I mean, first of all, I don't know if you can tell, but I have my own room. I live in an apartment now. So before I go into detail, okay, let's just talk about my other vlogmases and why they didn't work. Because when figuring out what to do for this vlogmas, I was like, maybe I should reflect on what went wrong the other two years. I am not a beauty girl. I am, I am a beauty rookie. I'm still learning. Like I said, first time putting lashes. And if it doesn't work out, I'm not wearing them. I'm not, I'm not gonna stress over it. I already stressed over too much over eyeliner, so I'm not gonna stress over anything else. So back to why my Vlogmases have never worked. So the first year I did Vlogmas, everything was going really well. And honestly, I feel like that Vlogmas would have been successful if I had better access to Wi-Fi. So in, that, in my first like Vlogmas, what ended up happening was I went to Mexico. That was back in winter of 2019. Basically, every single day was pretty easy, although something that my, my bestie pointed out, they pointed out that when finals came around, I would always struggle, which is very, very, very true. Which is why for this Vlogmas, there, this, there is pre-recorded videos just so that I can try and get through my finals without being stressed out about having to film and edit and all these different things. Like as long as things are filmed, that clears off a lot of my time. But um, back to what I was saying, back to the winter. <laughs> um, so everything was going well and then I kind of slowed down when the final stuff started, you know, coming around but where things got really complicated was when i went to mexico there were at least 20 of us at the house for the holidays and mostly everyone has a device so the wi-fi was super 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 slow and so since the wi-fi was super slow i was just pretty much filming a lot but the thing is is that the little rhythm that i had gotten while i was here was i would film and then I'd edit, I would upload it, and then I would delete anything that I didn't need anymore or that I didn't want saved. So a lot of clips were just like me talking to the camera. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep this. Mind you, I was doing all of this with my phone, so my phone would fill up with space really quickly. So what I would do again was just delete clips that I didn't need anymore. Any memories that I wanted to keep, I kept on my phone, but like the minutes long of me just talking to the camera, I wasn't gonna keep that. And it was working well. But it's like, once I got to Mexico, filming was also complicated because I, I had no storage and then I couldn't edit and it was just the whole thing. And that's why Vlogmas turned into Jolly January, Festive February, and Merry March because there was so much that I had to do. Basically, it was a whole mess, but I had a lot of footage from Mexico and I didn't just not want to post it. I was able to upload everything and I was like, you know, 2020 is gonna be my year. 2020, 2020 vision. Like, everything is gonna be fantastic. I mean, I'm sure everyone went through things in 2020. As for life situations, maybe one day I'll tell the full story. But for now, I'll do an abridged version because this does involve like other people. And while I am on the internet, I'm the one that's like filming and doing things and like, you know, telling my life on camera. But you know, other people didn't consent to that. So I'm not gonna put people's business out there for the sake of not leaving everyone in the complete dark. Just know I had to move from where I used to live. Let me see how many moves after that. It was one move, two moves, three moves, four moves. Four moves in the span of like a year. From like 
June, July 2020 to June, July 2021. And at one point, my room was a hallway. I was sleeping in a hallway. Very grateful for the hallway. Don't get me wrong. I was very grateful because I had a roof over my head. But it was still a hallway, you know? I really couldn't do vlogmas during that. It was just not working out in the living situation that I was in for 2020 vlogmas. That's why those vlogmas did not work out. But hey, this vlogmas I'm hoping works out. Rest in peace to my camera. The camera that I used to record with passed away because one of the reasons why I moved was because there was a fire. She died in that fire. But honestly, she's cursed. That camera is cursed and let me tell you why. I wasn't exactly sure what went on. I was like, I think it's water damage. I think that's what it was. But I wasn't 100% sure because it was turning on. So I left her in like rice. <laughs> For like a week just like hoping she would turn on but she wouldn't so my uncle took her to this place to get it fixed the building and the floor where she was getting fixed on caught on fire when he told me that i was like you know what that camera is cursed i don't want it near me i don't want it back no i don't want it i don't want it it is cursed i don't want it and then as a christmas present he got me this camera so I don't know if lashes go like before or after eyeshadow, but it seems like people say that they do it afterwards just so you don't have like eyeshadow falling and stuff. So I'm gonna trust the internet. So my bestie, you know, queer father, they're coming out with a music video tomorrow. So tomorrow you'll be able to watch it, filmed by yours truly. And then in tomorrow's vlogmas, you'll be able to see the behind, a little bit of behind the scenes of that video. Eyeshadow is next, but I'm scared. I don't know what colors I'm gonna need. I have so many palettes, and I'm pretty sure you can guess where these palettes are from. Color pop, color pop, color pop. When I say I love color pop, I mean it. I like I. All of all of them are from Color Pop. I need to figure out what colors to use, where to get these colors. I think that's the hardest part for me. Is like I don't think I'm that good at like color matching. So, I'm gonna try my best. I mean, since this is pre-recorded, I don't know how far into pre-recorded I'm gonna get into. But if there's anything you guys wanna see me do, let me know. Oh yeah, another thing that I wanted to talk about was, which this is just for anyone that's on here that used to be a reader of mine, whether they've noticed or not, I deleted every single story I had out there. For a lot of people, that was probably kinda shocking, or maybe not, maybe it wasn't too shocking. Honestly, with everything that's happened in my life since 2020, and especially since like the summer of 2020, I've had to like reevaluate my whole life. I don't know how to explain this, but I've, I've had to just, I've had to heal. I know for like people are like, oh, here come with the healing stuff and then, 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 Honestly, I don't think I started really healing until the summer of this year after my 21st birthday because I've had to unpack so much childhood trauma. I've really had to help like my inner child heal from a lot of bullshit in my life. Like there are certain things in my life that I'm like, oh, I mean, that was pretty bad. That was pretty traumatized. Like, that wasn't really nice to go through, you know? But it never hit me just how messed up things were. This is not a shade of purple pink that I wanted. I told you I am terrible at color matching. Can I salvage it with any other color? Maybe with this one, I mix it in. I don't know if that made it better or worse. But yeah, from the summer forward, I've definitely been on like a healing journey. That is a definite thing that I've had to do. This is not coming out well. That's okay. There's always a cut crease, right? I can always just do that. Right? <laughs> oh, oh my god. I don't know if it looks worse or better on camera. It's just, it's been a lot and I've had to like really reflect and look back on things. It made me realize that I've been holding myself back a lot with those stories simply because like, I mean, I wrote them when I was so young. I mean, I was like 12, 14, I'm 21 now, so. And I also realized it was probably really unfair because a lot of people were just discovering the story. So for them, it was something you very new. And other people who might have been around for like a while, and for them, this was nothing new. And they were just waiting for it to continue. And it's just, it was a lot. And I definitely just like, I don't know, I was being held back by them. And I really felt that for a long time. I've never cut the crease before, so. How far am I supposed to go in? I don't know what I'm doing. This is definitely nothing like the picture. I don't know what I'm doing. 
But yeah, for a while, I felt like I was just trying to force myself back into these stories. And at some point, you just have to tell yourself, like, come on. Who are you kidding? It's not it's not happening. It's not gonna happen. You know, I know this. I know it's not gonna happen. I have my heart hasn't been in these stories for so long. Like it's unfair for me to sit there and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue these stories. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. That is so pigmented. I mean she's pretty, but I'm scared. I'm so scared. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to do something else around here. I don't know what, what I'm doing, but I'm doing something else. As long as I look normal, by the end of this, we'll be fine. But yeah, I, at, towards the end, I was just really not into the stories anymore. It was just really unfair for me to like sit there and be like, oh no, yeah, like updates coming. I swear they got erased or this or that. When like, it wasn't fair. And also it wasn't fair because since my heart wasn't in it, I felt like I was just doing cliffhanger upon cliffhanger to buy myself some time. But yeah, because of that, I just felt kind of trapped for a while. And then I started feeling really bad. Then I just started feeling guilty. Every story that I wanted to write myself, that I wanted to do myself, I wouldn't. I would like hold myself back and I just wouldn't do things. So if things look different, they are. My camera died. <laughs> this is what I ended up doing with my eyes. I took the other stuff off. I ended up just putting glitter everywhere. I don't like it. I don't care though. We're just gonna go with it. It looks better in person. Trust me on that at least. I'm just going to do the rest of my eye look. I don't remember what I was talking about before. I think healing and like that's the reason why I don't have like my stories up anymore. But just to sum it all up, my heart wasn't in it anymore. It wasn't in it for a very long time. And it was just really unfair to keep it up there and keep everyone with the false hope that I was gonna continue it. Cause you know, I'm a writer. I love writing. I love writing stories. I love writing everything. I was in a creative writing class my last uh, last semester and I literally felt so guilty writing in those classes. And I think that's what helped me wake up and realize like, whoa, maybe it really is time to move on. And I think part of me was also scared that like my writing wouldn't be successful anywhere else. Please nobody ask me for an eyeliner tutorial because I, not that you were gonna ask me, I doubt you'd ask me. Because I am so bad at this. They never end up looking like twins or sisters or even cousins, okay? They look like cousins three times removed. Here comes the lash part, which is the part that scares me because I've never put on lashes before. As I already mentioned like 10 million times. And this video at this point is all over the place and I am so sorry for that. Oh my god. How the fuck? What is that? Can I cut that? Why does it look like that? Oh, because it's stuck together. That's why. I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna put on lash glue. I'm just gonna go with it. Does it hurt to remove them? I'm a little scared about that too. I know you're supposed to wait till like it's tacky. I know that much. But also, like lash glue wise, how much lash glue is too much lash glue? This is stuff I should have probably researched before. Anyway, it wasn't a hot girl summer for me. It was a healing girl summer. <laughs> you know, I used to always say like, oh no, I don't, I don't, I have a really bad memory because I can't remember my childhood. I can. I just didn't realize that what I couldn't remember was trauma that I had like deeply, deeply, deeply hid in my brain. Is that tacky? That's tacky. Okay. <laughs> now I'm panicking. How do I put this on my face? It's what if it just stays? Oh my god, okay, do not judge me. People make this seem so easy. How in the world? I don't want this to dry. Oh my god, oh my god. There's no way that I did this. <laughs> and I for sure do not do this correctly. Okay, hold up. I don't think this is gonna work, my people. It might look slightly normal to you. It looks normal to me, sort of, in the mirror. But this feels absolutely not okay. These are dry freaking enormous and I'm not used to them. And by that I mean the length. It is sticking to my finger and not to my eyelash. How do people do this? I don't think I put this on correctly. Unless if this is just what, how eyelashes are supposed to feel and look like. So lashes are a no-go this round. For all my people that do that, my respects. I am hungry. I have not eaten all day. I say that as if I didn't wake up at like 2 p.m. Oops. To all my people that are healing themselves and healing like trauma and stuff, Props to you. I'm with you on that journey. If you hear the walking, my dog's here. Come here, come say hi. Come say hi. <laughs> Baby, that's fair. I'm fair. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> this video was kind of a mess. I am going to go get dressed. 
my camera is dying again. Oh, thank you so much for watching today's vlogmas. This is the outfit. Cute, cute. I'm gonna go eat now. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Please join me tomorrow for tomorrow's vlogmas. Bye. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as charming as a cactus. You're as cuddly as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black pea.